you're welcome to my channel mindset academy where we want to reproduce the figure that is displayed at the right hand side of the screen in isometric projection now if you look this figure closely when you hear the word isometric projection the first thing you have to do is for you to draw your isometric axis i meaning the x y and z axis right so this is the x in this position this is the y in this position and this is the z in this position you can see that now i'm going to take the entire length which is the, this and that is 60 so I'll measure 60 from this side so from 0 to 60 then the entire length which is this and that is 52 so from 0 to 52 Then the entire height, which is 10 plus 55, and that is what 65. So measure the entire height to be 65 from 0 to 65. And I'm going to use my meter rule and I'm going to project those points upward this way. So this will go up, then this. We'll go up vertically then what i use to draw this i'll use it to draw this parallel to that line and this to come in this direction then this will come in this direction and i'll close it up You can see that now you notice it that from here to here is thickened so i am going to take in from this point to this point right and from this point i am going to measure 45 which is this point here i measure 45 upward so i'm going to measure 45 from zero here Is 45. Can you see that? So I can just thicken it once and for all. Now, aside that, I'm going to draw a line on that point this way. Paint line. And the thickness of the line from here to here is given to be what? 10. So I'm going to measure 10 on that point and I'll thicken it. So from 0 right to one is ten and now just taking it right and i'll bring it down this way faint line right and i can easily take my compass since the thickness is uniform 10 all through i'll just place it this way to this point then then i'll just mark here or I'll just simply measure 10 so meaning that from this point here, from this point here, straight down here, and from this point here, straight down here, and from this point here, straight down here, as shown in diagram. Now say that from the end here, this end here, I'll measure 35. So if I should come here from 0 to 35, how good? I'll just stick in it. Right? Then I'll join from here to here as shown in the diagram. 
you can see that simply i will come here also i'll do the same thing just project this up a little bit with faint line then from here where it meets here i'll take it backward so what i'll simply do here is i'll connect from here the diagram to this point and also connect from here to this point and also connect from here to this point then i'll close it up hope you can see that then i'll bring this down this way faint line it's more easier when you're using your instrument and i'll take here remember this is on my t-square i'll from here take this this way too as that line you see i'm taking it and i'll from here also take this line here too i'll take it i'll bring it down also i'll take it there right then i'll go from here and connect here to your old faint line and for me it is already there so the next thing i'm going to do is to get the distance the center of that figure there so can i get the center i told you always join diagonals if i join two different diagonals this is one and i join the other diagonal this way so this is where they are meeting here so that will be the center of that figure of that plane so i'll just draw a line across that point this way so it means that this is the center of the figure here so we have radius of what eight as you can see here right meaning that i'm going to measure four to the left and four to the right is that again so if i take this this way i place it like this can you see that then i'm going to measure um four in this place is four and this is what four the radius of eight sorry i'll measure eight eight here and the other eight here hope you can see that and i'll just use my meter rule and draw a line this way take my meter rule another line this way then the next thing i'm going to do here is um the next a measure radius of what to get the center vertically i measure from here to here which is 12. So as you come here i measure 12 to get the center of that figure from 0 to 12. this 12 here all good and i can add 12 to it and that will give me what um 20. So I can easily just come and measure 20 from here. But before that, let me just let that be. So I'll do that. So this is the center point here. So I'll do my center line. Long, short, long, short, long. Right? Another center line here too. This point too. We have long, short, long, short, long. Hope you can see that. So I can just take the radius of this. This is it here. Right? Then I'll come and mark here it. Then I'll come down to one mark it. So I'll use my line to pass through those points. This to this. Then this to this. So this is where they are meeting. Hope you can see that. You can actually do the same thing. So you place it here to this point. And you have an arc this way. And you come here, place it here. You have another arc this way. So this is what you have in here. 
and now the blue will top here. And here too. Right? So this is coming down in this manner. And this is coming down in this manner. And this is going in. I need to stop here. Let's bring this down. This is going in. Right? And your other one. I'll just bring this down this way. Then I'll take it down to this way. Right? Take it down to this way. To join the diagonals. Like this. Can you see that? So what I'll simply do here is from this point here, I'll draw a line this way. So where it meets here, I'm only transferring points. So that's for me, I place it here. And I'll take it here because I'm going to draw my arc this way. Hope you can see that. So I'll just stick in here, from here to here, from here to here, from here to here, from here to here, and also from here to here. Can you see that? Now the next thing I'm going to do is that there's a circle placed here, and the circle is placed at the center. This place 25 millimeter from the base here, right? So let me get the center of that figure first. 25 millimeter from the base here, 0 to 25. This 25 here. And I'll draw a line this way. This is 25. Then 20 from that end here to that point. To zero to twenty. That will be where the center is. So I can easily just draw a line this way. So this is where I'm going to place my circle. And the rest of the circle is six because the diameter there is what is twelve. So I'll just on my metal rule and I'll measure six. Zero to six. As you can see here, then I'll come to this point, I'll mark 6, come down, mark 6, alright, I'll go to the left, mark 6, and I'll go to the right, I'll mark 6. And if you cannot do it that way, you can simply use your meter rule and place it this way, from 0, here, this is 6, and this is 6. Then vertically to from zero here from zero here this is six and this is also six. Can you see that? Then you take your instrument and you draw a vertical line to pass through those points. This way. And join the longest diagonal, which is this. Right, you join the longest diagonal. Then aside that, I can virtually use my hand, but I don't want to do that. I will join from this point to this point, and from this point to this point. So you can see that, and I can now take my compass, place it at this end, so that I can connect this end to the other end here. So 
hands on this end to the other end too here. And from this end to this end too. And from this end to this end too. Now what we have there, this is what we have. We have um, successfully reproduced the figure that you can see at the right hand side of the screen in isometric production. Please don't forget to like, subscribe and also share the video. Thanks for watching.